All right, it's semester exam time. I hope you're ready. Well, my students are taking a semester exam in a couple of weeks, and I've been going through some tips and tricks with them to help prepare for my own semester exam, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity for me just to let you know what I'm telling my students, so hopefully you can take advantage of some of these tricks and tips, and they will help you when you take your semester exam. So the first thing I've been telling my students to do, tip number one, is to create a cheat sheet. Now what I mean by creating a cheat sheet is basically take everything that you have learned, all the formulas, the definitions, the processes, and put them on a single sheet of paper. Now for my class, pre-calculus, that's a lot of information, and the students actually do this for every chapter in my class. So they have a lot of content to kind of sift through to decide what is it they want on this sheet of paper. But in general, what you're gonna do is you're gonna work through, look through all of your notes, look through your assignments that you've gone through, and you're gonna start deciding that as some things that you maybe wanted at the beginning of the year, you no longer need to add on the cheat sheet. And if you can't decide, you know, should I put this on the cheat sheet or not, the question I ask my students is, if you're gonna take your exam, would you like to have, like if you had your cheat sheet on your exam with you, sitting right next to you, would you want that example, you know, right there? And so a lot of times that helps students just to refine a lot of these processes. Um, a lot of the work that they did for certain, you know, maybe some more of the difficult problems to remind them how to work through some of those problems. But the purpose of the cheat sheet is not really to have all these answers and everything in front of you, but the purpose of it is to go through all of the information again, everything that you have learned throughout, that, uh, throughout the year up to this point, and to remind your brain, remind yourself, oh yeah, that's what we learned. And it's also gonna help you make connections from one chapter to the next, because obviously we know that a lot of mathematics is connected. So by going through all this content and writing it back down, even if you understand it or forgot it, you're gonna start making those connections. Your brain is at least gonna start connecting those things. And hopefully by the time you take the exam, it'll be a little bit easier for you to retrieve the information by going through this process. Step number two is to practice, right? Repetition, repetition, repetition. But there's no point in practicing problems if you're getting them wrong. So please only practice problems where you have the answer so you can make sure you're doing them correct. When I was a student, I used to do the problems that were either the back of the book that I had answers to, or I would actually just cover up answers we already did in class, and I would just redo, I'd cover up the work and the answer, and I'd just redo them and then check my work then. Now, if you are taking pre-calculus, um, college algebra, algebra two, uh, then I have a review that I gave in my class that I think would be beneficial to you. It, basically, we're gonna cover for, quarter, for semester one, uh, functions, polynomials, rational functions, and trigonometry. So I'll have a link in a card as well as down below that you can go ahead and check out my examples. I think you know it's probably over like 60 problems that I have. And then also I have a 45 question review that I gave to my students that I made last year, um, which I'll also link out in another card for the video. You can see me actually working through it. It took me two hours. I always explain it everything, but it took me two hours to work through that. So therefore, if you work through that review and you want a video explanation, then make sure that you go ahead and um, click on that link and it will take you there and therefore you can download it, work through it, and as well as check your answers. Now, you have a lot of information, right? You have a lot of stuff to do. You have a cheat sheet that takes a lot of time. If you're gonna do it right, it should take you a good solid 45 minutes to an hour to create a good cheat sheet. You have a lot of practice problems. That, that is hours and you know, hours worth of time of practicing problems. So the last tip comes into spreading it out. There is nothing worse than trying to cram in all of this information the night before the test. Semester time is, you know, semester exam time is hard because you have other classes, you have other things that are going on. So the best advice I can give my students, you know, we have our exam in two weeks. I told them start studying now, right? Because we have another test, we have other things you have to worry about. The last thing you wanna be doing is trying to do math problems the night before your exam. The night before your exam, you should be relaxing. You should be just mentally getting prepared for your exam. You should not be doing any studying, memorizing, or anything like that. Start doing the practice problems now. Start creating the cheat sheet now. It's much better to spend 30 minutes every night doing a little bit of math than trying to do six hours the night before. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully these tips are gonna help you with your own exam. And I wish you the very best. I wish you the very best. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.